It's October, the month of Halloween and everything haunted. This popular candle shop in the Poconos knows a thing or two about spooky happenings, and it's all because of what happened in the basement long ago. Zombies, skulls, and other frightening faces are all part of the guided tour you can take at Candle Shop of the Poconos in Swiftwater. But this is not your typical haunted house. It's not a Halloween boo, we're going to scare you. It's more of a, you're going to sense things, you're going to feel things. Many customers, employees, even mediums believe this place is haunted by monkeys. They've had people scratching at them. They've had their hair being pulled at. Built in 1897, this was originally where Dr. William Redwood Fisher lived with his wife and kids. Dr. Fisher used the basement as a biological research lab where he helped develop the life-saving yellow fever and smallpox vaccines. Across the street from his home, Dr. Fisher worked closely with Pocono Biological Laboratories. Founded by Dr. Richard Slee in 1897, Pocono Labs was created for smallpox vaccine development, and its first client was the United States Army. And that's 300 acres that he built it on. Back in Dr. Fisher's basement, he allegedly performed vaccine-related research on monkeys. Occasionally he would get his hands on gorillas or chimpanzees, but because they were more costly, that's why they were not really that often in the lab. But his main source of monkeys were actually spider monkeys. After Dr. Fisher died, his home stayed in the family for years, then eventually became an antique shop until Linda Schlier set her sights on the building in 2006. My mom always grew up having candle shops and she would always pass this building and she'd be like, oh, that would make a beautiful candle shop. My stepdad, Jim, actually purchased the building for her and was like, go build your candle shop. And that's how it all began. But almost immediately, Linda experienced something terrifying. She was up like on the mantle, just dusting. And she said she heard what sounded like a bunch of animals running around the building and she saw the dust kick up. Linda started doing her research and learned about the building's unsettling history. In the basement, she found evidence of what took place here long ago. The craziest part was the monkey cages downstairs when she was like, why are there cages in my basement? Now, as part of the basement tour, you'll get up close to the original cages where Dr. Fisher kept his monkeys. You'll also see his belongings, including eyeglasses, razors, old letters, medical books, and equipment. You see microscopes, you'll see needles from what they used to look like back then, all kinds of stuff down here. Animal Planet even featured Linda and the Candle Shop in its show, The Haunted, which highlights true stories of animal hauntings and paranormal spirits. People would come from all over and just be like, I want to see the building, I want to go in the attic, I want to go in the basement, I want to experience something. Linda was in the business of scents, not scares, but she eventually decided to embrace the haunted history by offering educational tours on designated days throughout the year. Especially right now with all the things with COVID and the vaccines, it's good to have an understanding of the evolution of vaccines and what they came from to what they are now. Today, Dr. Fisher and his family are buried side by side in this nearby cemetery. But some say his spirit remains in the candle shop. Will you experience something paranormal? Find out on the tour. I personally honestly do not believe that the monkeys or any of the spirits are here to intend harm on anybody because we're not intending harm on them. From haunted houses to guided ghost tours, there are plenty of seasonal activities to enjoy here in the Pocono Mountains. Just head to PoconoMountains.com slash events. For the Pocono Television Network, I'm Brianna Strunk. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the Pocono Tourism YouTube channel and click the bell button below to be the first to watch new videos. You can also click the link on the screen to watch more episodes of Pocono Mountains Magazine.